All right, come back to center. Ooh. Hug your other knee in. Good, and then bring it out to the side. Take your strap, put it around the bottom of your foot. Elbows draw out to the side. So roll your torso over that right leg. Deep inhale, exhale, hand to the hip crease, go over that right leg. Take your shoulders out of your ears, soften them. Woo. Be curious to what muscle you're stretching here, because you get to be quizzed on that later. <laughs> I think you guys all know. <laughs> Inhale, come on up. Nice. So we gotta twist the other side. So draw that left knee into your chest. I'll kind of demonstrate because it's really important. You don't want to come in starting a twist with a round back. So really pop up with that left hand. Reach up. Deep inhale. Good. And exhale. Hug that left knee in to your body. You're twisting. To the left. Good. Inhale, grow your spine long and exhale, draw the belly in. Twist a little bit more. Last time, inhale, grow tall in your spine. Use your fingertips to help lift you up. And exhale, draw the belly in. Nice, you got it. Inhale, come back to center. Woo! Good job, Michelle. Great job. Proud of you guys. Let's just <clears throat> your heart space for a moment. Let's everyone, you can have any seated position that makes you feel good. And then just bow your head to your heart. Give yourself this moment for the day to really truly honor yourself. You showed up, you challenged yourself, you may have tried new things, and you're working a lot of muscles, stretching and strengthening. Namaste. Okay. Namaste. Thank Good you, job. Jennifer. <laughs> that was awesome, guys. Great I'm workout, Jen. This is an amazing I'm workout, so Jennifer. Thank you. Is Dan here? I'm not that here. We didn't take a water break. Your position. Um, a couple minutes to uh, <laughs> by me. They're really helpful. <laughs> so those of you that are already here, how did you feel about that? Did you like um, in a little bit of kind of I, I try to bring in a little bit of our dance eight count beat in it. Was give me a thumbs up if you thought that was kind of fun. Awesome. Mm, okay. Super That's challenging. Mm -hmm. Really okay. good. <laughs> Exercises so you can um, have fun with it. I want you guys to have fun and be challenging. <clears throat> learning the, the form and so so with that. It seems like most of you guys like that. Hey, Amy. Okay. Amy. Hi, Tina. How are you? When are we going to practice for Romeo and Juliet? Yes, we are this afternoon. Can you guys tell where I am? At the house. I'm oh. at the Queen's house. Jim turned the air conditioning on for me because I don't have any at my house and so the air is really clean and I went and did acupuncture yesterday. They put needles on um, all my sinuses um, oh. and today being here I'm breathing a lot better. So, oh that's so um, good. Yeah, that's I didn't really have good. Use, yeah I didn't have to use my inhaler so the only times that's happened in the last month were when we were at the desert for three days and this morning so it's awesome. a good day that's a positive step you know <laughs> it is yeah i i feel so good right now um yeah so just tired whenever i do acupuncture it really um makes you tired and when you leave it feels like you've had a full body massage and it just kind of um puts you in a super zen state 
So I, I feel kind of groggy today a little bit, um, which whenever I do the next day, I, I feel this way, but it's so nice to breathe. <laughs> oh, I hear you. Definitely. And it's surprising how much acupuncture helps. Yeah, yeah. Because I, yeah. I got it. Uh, I had a C3 and C4 herniated disc in my neck. Wow. And I had to do, uh, and I had like numbness and tingling. I couldn't even move my hand for over like a month or two months. So oh they goodness. did acupuncture for like six months and it really, really was beneficial. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Oh yeah. I, I ruptured a disc in my lumbar and Ooh. did acupuncture at that time 10 years ago, 15 years ago. And it really, yeah, it helps. So I thought I'd give it a shot um, mm -hmm. with everything Julia's given me. Um, it was just another layer and yeah, I can breathe. So yay. <laughs> So no, that's good, Coach. I like to hear that the acupuncture works on other people. Too. That's awesome. I'm curious, has anybody else had acupuncture besides Coach and Amy? My mom has. Yeah? Did My she wife? like it? Yeah, I have she's it. been... Uh, um, does it hurt? She's been menopause before. Does it hurt? Um, not, not really. It feels the needles are so thin and tiny. Um, and when they put them in, you feel it. But then about 10, 15 minutes into it, she comes back in and she twists them. And that's when it, when it hurts, when it gets twisted. And then it calms down. And then 10 minutes later, they twist them again. And that's that's when it hurts it's not agonizing at all um you just feel it and wherever they do it it gets really warm yeah so my face yeah, yeah when i did it they actually did stem too oh wow so they use a tens unit on top of the uh attached to the needles mm -hmm. wow that's incredible. that was an intense yeah. experience <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah jimmy what yeah. is doing it so it's good. It, fe it feels really good when you're all done with it. Mm -hmm. ah. I, I went for about an hour. Hey, there's so um, many and like I say, you're just it. super relaxed. So Damn it all. not painful, oh, just a, a little bit, but not bad. Not bad enough to where you don't want to go back. How about that? Amy, what does dining issues <clears throat> mean? Pardon? What do you mean by dining issues? I didn't hear you. What do you mean by dine-in issues? Oh, back issues. I don't know why it said dining issues last night, Michelle. Um, it was back issues. What does that mean? <laughs> her, she strained her back, oh. lifting something. So I'm guessing that's why um, she never got back to me yesterday. Uh, um, cool. Yeah. So I'll try. I'll try calling her again today. I mean, they got, she's got two weeks left. <laughs> yeah, their actual last day is actually June 4th, is oh. the official last day of school. But Sarah's going to be done next Friday, I believe. So um, nice. once her counselor cool. calls me, then we'll set up a day for the, uh, the little um, drive-by celebration. How are we going to do the drive-by celebration? You know, we will, when I get a day, probably later this week, we'll set some time and we'll all talk about it. So should we, we'll talk about that on Friday. So um, we have some ideas that some people have said and Sarah is actually here. So I don't want to talk about it right now. Um, I want to do it when she's not around. She's, I have the doors closed, but she's over there doing her homework. So that's why I'll we'll talk about later today, or or on Friday. <laughs> I want to be total square. <laughs> Are you guys ready to do a little meditation? Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, guys, check this so, out. <laughs> we were just moving and all. Let's practice. Um, Stuart, the, what is that? Oh, have my neighbor's cats came to say hi to me. Oh, that's so oh. nice, Stu. Oh. Can I see Stu? Oh. 
They're all, what up, Stuart? Hey. What a nice place to meditate, too. He's outside in his backyard. Oh, oh wow. What a cute That's kitty. Really cool, Kenny. Aw, so adorable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why do you have two that's nice, Stuart. Yeah, that's awesome. Stuart, it's who's Kenny? Lena. Lena. It's, I said it's my neighbor. I, I, I said it was my neighbor's cat. Did, did that not oh, come I through? That part cut out. Yeah, I think it might have cut, cut out. It happens sometimes. Mm -hmm. I heard it. Okay. All right. So today we're going to do two quick meditations. The first one will be our walking meditation. And I brought one of my um, massaging massage drums. So what I'd like you to do, um, Stuart's outside, but if you're inside, you're going to start at one wall, okay? So you're going to stand up, and you're going to go to a wall. I'm going to go to the Hidden Wings front door. <laughs> okay, so any wall in the room that you're in, and then we're going to walk forward, 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 as far as you can go to the other wall, if you can go that far, and then you're going to turn around, and you're going to walk back, forward, forward, and then you're going to turn around, and you're going to do it again, and I'm going to set a timer for three minutes, and I'm gonna do a heartbeat drum, okay? So I'm gonna do a, can everyone hear that? Okay. So, and we're gonna do that for three minutes. You're just gonna walk in your room. Now, if you're in the backyard, same thing. You can start at one side of your backyard and just walk to the other. I want you to walk nice and slow and think about your feet. How do your feet feel on the floor or the ground? If you can be barefoot or in socks, that's the best way to do walking meditation. That is how Buddhist monks do it. They always do walking meditation barefoot, no matter where they are. If you wanna have shoes on, go for it. Um, but ideally socks or barefoot, but if you um, want to have shoes or need to have shoes, totally fine. Especially if you're outside, um, definitely put shoes on, um, even if you're on your lawn. Okay, it, it looks like uh, Alex Hassett is ready. Lauren, are you ready? Are you going to stand up, Miss Lauren, and, find, and go to a wall for the walking meditation, sweetie? Lauren? She's on mute. Yeah, she is on mute. Sorry. That's okay. Are you, okay, perfect. Thank you, honey. Okay. And I see Tina's ready. I see Jordan's ready. Those are all the people. I see Selena. Are you going to join us for the walking meditation? It's only three minutes long. And if not, if you just want to sit, that's fine. You can just sit and have your eyes closed and listen to the drum but I would love it if everybody joins me. Uh, Debbie, are you gonna join us for the walking meditation? Yes. Awesome. Okay, I have my timer set. I didn't bring my cool hourglass. I didn't want it to break. Um, all right, so everybody, let's take a couple of deep breaths. So ground your feet, feel what the ground feels like, what the floor feels like, undo your feet, hands at your side. We're going to take two big, deep breaths. And one more. Okay. Once I start the drum, we will start walking nice and slow. And then I will stop us at three minutes. Everyone ready, Lauren? Are you ready? Here we go. Should I sit down or just stand in the wall? You are, let me pause. You're gonna stand at one side of your room and you're gonna walk to the other side. Okay. 
and you're gonna go back and forth. Is that okay, Lauren? Oh, she's yeah. got it. Okay, perfect. All right, here we go. Here comes the drumming. Everybody ready? And go. Good job, you guys. That was great. That was three minutes of just walking back and forth. You can go ahead and sit down now. Oh, what did, how did that feel, Lauren? How did that feel? Relax, relaxing. Yeah, good. Michelle, how did you like that? I was thinking of the beach. <laughs> you were thinking of the beach? Perfect. Yeah, if something comes in your mind like that, that's totally fine. That is great. Tina, how did you like it? It was, <clears throat> it was relaxing. I couldn't walk to the other wall because something was in the way. Okay, you just walked as far as you could? Yeah. Perfect. That is excellent. How about you, Jordan? What did you think of that? I like you know, I like the music in the background. Yes, yeah. I like the music when I do um, walking meditation is really nice. Mm -hmm. So every time we do a walking meditation, um, I will definitely have the heartbeat drum going. Yeah. I'll do the Dharma drums one time um, and see, but the heartbeat drumming is really nice um, with yeah. the walking. How about you? Alex, what did you think? He's unmuted. He's he's muted. <laughs> what did you think, Alex? Uh, by I was by walking on sand or something. <gasps> nice. Oh, good. I I like how a couple of you felt the beach, the sand, 
That's really good. Good and calming. Anyone else? Miss Debbie, what did you think of that? I, I found it totally relaxing. Um, I, my mind just just was at, put to peace. It was at, at a peaceful, peaceful time. Nice. Good. Put your thumb up if this was a relaxing meditation for you. Awesome. Yay, those are the only people I can see. Oh, Jim, I see Jim, I see Jim's thumb. Yay. Um, Jen, what did you think of the meditation? Is Jen here? I can't see her. I only see nine of you. <laughs> she is. She's the butterfly. Pardon? She's a butterfly. She's a butterfly. Oh, not muted, but um, thread might have Hello, background. Yeah. Woman with her shirt up. Teresa, Teresa, what did you think? I loved it. I loved just that that um, massage drum is like one of my favorite ones. <laughs> so even just yeah. hearing it, I can almost feel it on my back. <laughs> it's like imagining it. Exactly, you feel it in your soul. Yeah. 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 That this is my favorite drum, and I have three different sizes that I've shown you guys. This is the deepest one. Um, the other two are, are a little, have a little higher pitch to them, and they're not as relaxing. Well, I am so glad you guys like that. Um, again, I'm mailing you that string today, and you can practice. If you practice this at home, try and have some music playing in the background. Um, if you can find some <laughs> drumming music or classical music, something that helps you with it, that's great. You can try it quiet, but I always, when I do it, I walk with my drum. So I'm walking and doing it. Um, so see if you can add music to this activity um, if you choose to do it alone. And I don't know if we have time to do one more or if we need to move on to the next activity because I see that it's already 11.23. Yeah, we'll, we'll move on to the next activity because I got a little Perfect. bit to go over for the muscles. Yeah. Excellent. You guys, you guys ready to learn about the muscles? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. All right, let's get started muscle, here. First thing we went over last time, guys, we went over the abs. We went over the muscles of the upper leg, and we also worked on the upper body. So today, we're going to work on the back, okay? okay? So there's many muscles in the back. If you can see there, there's so many muscles in the back. But the major muscle groups that we're focusing on is your traps. So that's right below your neck on your side. You know when you get stressed and you have that neck ache? That's right where your traps are. Your lats are the big, long muscles on your back. And also your obliques, it wraps around from the front, actually inserts into the vertebrae. So when you're talking about working your core, that means you're working your back as well because of your obliques and your abs, everything wraps around and inserts into the spine. Does that make sense, guys? Yeah. Yep. Cool. Let's see exercises for the, uh, for the back. We got lat pulls. You want a back like that guy, right? <laughs> you got isometric neck exercise. So you put pressure that you can't move and you work on your neck and your traps. We do reverse sit-ups on a ball, so you're laying flat on your stomach, and you're arching your back back, and you're coming down. You also could do planks. They work on your abs that insert into your back. Biometrics of the back. So how it moves, bio, biomechanics, so how it moves. Your traps, it moves your head side to side, and it helps you hold posture of your neck. It helps you stay, uh, stay up and about. Your lats, they actually bend your back as well as maintaining posture. So they're really, really important for uh, holding yourself upright and actually uh, helps with walking as well because that's what kind of keeps us up and standing. And then the insertion of the obliques, obliques, we talked about it. It helps you move side to side, so like trunk twists. And uh, it also helps with posture if fired correctly. So it helps you stay up so that way you can actually have good uh, posture and good momentum when you're doing exercise. This next one, guys, I don't want you to really focus on all the muscles. I just wanted to show you how many muscles are actually in the hip. It's kind of crazy how many muscles are just in the hip. A lot. So a you lot. don't have to learn all these, but I just wanted to show you an example of how complex the hip is. 
You see all those things that are connected to the hip guys? Yeah. yeah. There are so many different little muscles, little different tendons, little different uh, ligaments. There's so many different things that help your, um, help your hip articulate. So some things help your hip move forward. Some things help your hip go outside, inside. So anything that you articulate your hip with, you need to use some of those some of those muscles that are on the screen. Like I said, you don't have to learn them all, but I just thought it was kind of interesting to show you how complex the uh, hip is. So exercises for the hips. You can do hip raises like she's doing right there, right? You guys do that, yeah. right? Yeah. You could do scorpions. So scorpions, you're putting your bat, you're putting your foot over your head like a scorpion, like you're like it's a tail. And that helps your back as well. And also you could do bird dogs. Bird dogs are actually where you point one arm and one leg on the opposite side in a uh, plank position. You guys remember those? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then also lunges are really good for your back. I mean, for your hips, the lunges are really good. If you overextend, like short lunges aren't really good. They don't focus on your hips as much. But if you do long extended lunges, they really, really articulate and work your hips. Also, knee lunges where you uh, have your hips, where, you, where you're on your knees, and you're rolling your hips and you're rolling your full posture forward. That helps with your hip flexor, helps with your groin, helps with many things that are actually in your hip. And that stretch feels so good. All right, biomechanics of the hip. I don't want you guys to stress out about all that stuff, but I just want to show you how many muscles are, in, uh, are involved in like flexion extension, abduction, all that kind of stuff. There are so many things that are, uh, that are actually involved in articulating your legs. It's kind of crazy how uh, evolution really helped us stand upright, you know? Because many of these muscles are not as well defined as... Um, getting them matted, that's expensive. Not as well defined as, uh, not as well defined in other animals. Yeah. So let's go into muscles of the, no, the only time muscles of the lower leg. So we talked about the upper leg last yes, on Monday, right? Yeah. yeah. So now we're talking about the <clears throat> lower leg. So there's those are the muscles and attended in the lower leg. You, the major muscles we're going to focus on is your gastrocnemius, which is your calf muscle, that big giant muscle that inserts into your femur your tibialis anterior, which is in front of your shin. So it's also responsible for shin splints when you're hurting. Does anybody know what that, what shin splints are? Does anybody jump in? I haven't made any of They're very painful. Oh, I've had them before. They hurt, don't they? They are really They're, they're very painful. Yeah, they are. And usually, it happens when you're a little bit more flat-footed. So they are really, really painful in the in the front of your leg. They are every time. Yeah, every time you take a step, it's like some your your shin just stings. <laughs> yes, and the only thing that I have found to help with it is really doing um, like foam rolling on it or like really um, like massaging it out it's so cool mm -hmm. so, i don't know coach do you have any ideas um it's <clears throat> for shin splints yeah it's it's difficult when you yeah when you the only thing you can do is actually put a put a compression uh band on your on your shin mm -hmm. Because when your uh, when your tibialis anterior, when that muscle gets inflamed, it actually pulls away from the bone. So you really want to press it towards the bone. You really want to you really want to put pressure on it, so that way it doesn't hurt as much. Because when it swells, it hurts like no other. Yep. Right. And then there's your soleus, which is right below your calf, and right below your giant gastroc muscle. It's right below it. And then your Achilles tendon. It's your it's it's that tendon the that uh, on your heel. It actually attaches to the bottom of your foot and actually goes all the way up your leg. Wow. So exercises for the lower leg, calf raises. You see what that guy's doing on a little step? Mm -hmm. Those things are good for your gastroc. You'd also do squats and then stair climbers as well. So your calf muscles in charge of bringing your foot away from your body your uh, tibialis anterior, so your shin, 
is actually in charge of bringing your foot towards your shin when it's, when it's flexed. And then your soleus is in charge of pointing your toes. And your Achilles, it's, it's responsible for lifting your foot up and lifting it down. All right, Alex, do you want to go over this? Uh, sure. Okay. That's the pyramid of success. Okay. Exactly. exactly. Um, hard work and enthusiasm. Um, do you want me to read the whole thing? Yeah, you can read the whole thing. Uh, okay. Uh, hard work. It says failing to repair is failing, preparing to fail or falling. Is it failing or falling? That's failing. Yeah, you're failing. 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 failing to prepare is preparing to fail. There you go. It says preparing for success means you must work hard. Are you preparing to succeed or preparing to fail? If you are looking for the easy way and a shortcut or trick, you are preparing to fail because success requires an old fashioned hard work. Remember only you know if you are working as hard as you can. So that's hard work. <laughs> yes. yes. Exactly. And do you want me to do the enthusiasm? Yeah, yes. you can. Uh, make each day special. If uh, you have you have to like what you're doing to do what you like at your highest level, your heart must be in it without enthusiasm. You can't achieve your fullest potential. Hard work combined with enthusiasm is power, your powerful engine. Yeah. How many guys, how many guys struggle with enthusiasm sometimes? Sometimes I do. Me too. Yeah. It's really hard to motivate yourself sometimes, right? Yeah. Yes. But I so, do have to say, when we're all together, it makes me happy. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Me too. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. It makes me feel enthused. It makes me feel like, oh, this day is awesome. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It makes it a lot easier, so I don't put it off. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. It's easier for me to do workouts and do stuff with you guys when you're all here and you show up and you're on time. It's really cool. So today, guys, I also want to go over the benefits of exercising the daily life. So you guys know benefits of uh, fitness, right? When you're working out, it makes you feel better, right? Yeah. yeah. So I thought this little picture was kind of funny. So <laughs> why you need exercise? Because if you're just chilling, your brain's not firing, you're like, Ugh. sometimes you mean? feel like a slug, right? What does that mean? Just feel like you're chilling. You're like, oh my gosh, I'm, I don't know what to do. And then when you work out, you're like, oh man, I'm ready to go, right? <laughs> So fitness is great for overall health. Health, It actually helps you improve many aspects of uh, your mental and uh, your physical body. Daily exercise uh, is important because it gets you going in the morning if you do it. It helps you focus. It helps you uh, maintain uh, both health, mental health and physical health. And then the benefits of exercise in your body. It helps with cardiovascular health. Guys, what is cardiovascular health? heart yep your circulatory system so your heart all that kind of stuff it, it helps your heart it helps with your metabolism do you guys know what your metabolism is no. how fast your body burns fat exactly how fast your body processes food and nutrition so you really want your metabolism to be firing in all cylinders and if you don't exercise you know when you don't exercise for a while and you get chubby and you're just chilling and you're kind of slow? That's because yeah. your metabolism isn't firing. You don't get the energy that you need from the food that you're eating. Does that make sense, guys? Yeah. Yeah. It helps maintain equilibrium in your body. So it helps maintain your hormones. It helps maintain your, your, um, your stress. It helps you maintain anything in your body and makes it even. 
It also helps you with endurance. How many guys have started working out and you're exhausted after the first time? But then after the third or fourth time, you feel more comfortable and you could do it better. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So that's improving your endurance. And it also helps you lose weight or maintain a healthy weight. How many guys feel like they need to lose weight? I do. Definitely. <laughs> I, I think I think everyone needs to lose or maintain a healthy weight because it's really, really yeah. important to keep you healthy, keep your metabolism up, makes you feel better about yourself. You don't feel stressed out, you know, it makes you it makes just makes you better. So exercise of daily exercise of the of the mind. So it helps the concentration concentration. You know, when you do the exercise in the morning, does it help you understand and relax better and uh have a better discussion with the PowerPoints? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you feel more grounded, right? Mm -hmm. And also it silences the noise in your head. How many guys have thoughts that are racing sometimes? I do. I do. Uh, yeah. So four seven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Definitely. So it helps you silence all those little noises. So it helps you become relaxed because it releases endorphins and it just makes you feel good. It makes you feel like Oh, I did something today. I feel great. Mm -hmm. And it also helps regulate your sleep. How many guys have trouble sleeping? Sometimes. 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 Yeah. Time. It's kind of different. Mm -hmm. I hear you. So exercise really helps you get regular sleep because if you exhaust yourself, if you really work really hard and do high impact, insane exercise, not insane, just a really, really high intensive exercise, it makes you tired at night. It makes you relax. It makes you be able to sleep better. How many guys have done a hard workout and then you're like, oh, I need to crash? Me. <laughs> yes. Right? Those are hiking days. I... It's mostly the hiking. All the time. Exactly. All the time. All the time. Mostly hiking. And guys, it also helps you socialize with other others in a competitive or team-based way so it helps you talk it helps you make you feel more comfortable and if you're in a team it helps you uh understand and actually compete in a more effective way does that make sense guys yeah yes 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 absolutely 